I've never had any interest in football. It was footy like I've never experienced it before. It feels like that's where I'm meant to be. To be safe and to be inclusive is to use more than just those words. Because like every footy club uses those words. You can create a new club and it's not something that has to happen in the future. And there's 70 signed up playing and training members and 45 to 50 people that have played a game that I think otherwise close to none of them would have done that at another club. If we don't put our money where our mouth is and make this as inclusive as possible, we're just any other club. This is not what I imagined a footy club to be like. There were signs that it was becoming clear that we weren't going to be accepted. It's like a really sort of visceral, familiar feeling of rejection. Because it felt personal and not personal to us individually but to what we represented. That rejection is amplified again when it's society as a whole is saying, no, you're not good enough. Because it's not the norm, we're seen as a risk and we will have to prove more. I don't think it was understood how good we were going to make the AFL in that we're going to bring people to the game who have been excluded from the game. Yeah, we've got a bit of catch up to do. The men have got to play our great game for a really long time. My granddaughter, she keeps saying, Nan, she said, you're a pioneer. She said, Things that aren't equal <laughs> for everyone. I've just spent my life wanting to live in a different world and every time I turn up to the Falcons, I see that world. You know, maybe this is bigger than just a couple of women and gender diverse people having a kick. Like, maybe we've got an opportunity here to make real change. Three, two, one, blast!